and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing another foundation first impressions review and a little bit of a wear test. It is a little bit late in the day. I will wear it as long as I can to give you guys my full wear test impressions. So we are going to be doing a review on the Pixie by Petra Beauty Balm. This is a high coverage foundation and mine is in number one cream. So I will have all of the actual information and the product listed down below, but if you are curious in seeing my review, first impressions, demo, all of that on the Pixie Beauty Balm High Coverage Foundation, then just keep on watching. Pixie did send this product to me in PR but my opinions are going to be 100% my own. I did pull the product up on the pixiebeauty.com website, which I will link down below. The foundation is $22, I believe that's Canadian. And then it is only available in six shades, which I feel like they can get away with for some of their more lighter coverage, hydrating, tinted products. It's easier to adapt to multiple skin tones, but with a high coverage foundation, I don't think there's really an excuse for having less than seven shades. Um, as I said, mine is in number one cream, then there's number two nude, number three warm, number four caramel, number five mocha, and number six espresso. The espresso shade does look pretty dark, which is nice to see, but overall there isn't a great shade range. This foundation claims to even out skin tone and give the complexion a flawless look. It is hydrating and long lasting. It contains ceramides, hyaluronic acid, adenosine, and chamomile extract to soothe and nourish. So that is all really great. I love when moisturizers and any type of skin product, whether it's like complexion or actual skincare, contains hyaluronic acid because I have very dry acne prone skin. So love that, pointers for that. And then it says it is for all skin types, even though it does say that it's hydrating, but it does say it's full coverage and medium buildable. So I'm gonna expect to be able to build this up and get coverage right away. It says it can be sheared out if you add like a little bit of moisturizer in with it. That is typical for any foundation. And then you get 50 milliliters, which is 1.7 fluid ounce. That's a lot more product than you typically get. I would say that one fluid ounce is typical of a foundation. So 1.7 fluid ounces, that's almost two times what you would typically get. And this is still less expensive than most Sephora products, but more expensive than the typical drugstore. But keep in mind the amount of product in there, that is really nice. This is how my skin looks with just the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on. My acne is popping. Most of this though is pretty much all this here is flattened. It's just scarring which is lovely but it is kind of nice because typically you won't be able to see it under foundation because you won't have that texture. It's just the redness that I need to get rid of. So in theory this foundation should be able to do that for me. My favorite foundation buffing brush. This is the Morphe 439 and then I pulled my e.l.f. highlight whatever bouncing brush. I'm testing this one out. I really like it so far. So I'm going to first apply it with a brush just to see how nice the coverage is and then typically I'd go over with a sponge to smooth it out afterwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and pump some out on the back of my hand. Ooh, it looks very thick and almost like gel consistency like. So that is how it looks on the back of my hand. That actually looks like a really good match for me. Looks pretty neutral and pretty on point with my skin so that's nice to see. And on my skin just like applying it with my finger it feels very skincare-esque the smell and the feel feels very skincare-y and then even as I'm blending it onto the back of my hand it feels very much just like a moisturizer or something so now that I have that all nice and distributed onto my face I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush and buff it in it smells really nice super like refreshing so this is how my skin is looking with one layer applied. You guys saw how much that was. It was like 
two pumps worth and there's still a little bit on the back of my hand so close up this is how the skin is looking with that first layer buffed in just with the brush i didn't go over top with the beauty sponge i think the finish is absolutely gorgeous it sits so wonderfully on my skin like i could picture this being the best winter foundation this is like definitely the most hydrating healthy natural finish of a foundation that i've seen in a while but the coverage isn't there for me definitely a little more coverage than their other foundations so for them perhaps this is high coverage but they do claim that it is buildable so we are going to test that and go in with a little bit more especially in my cheek chin region on the left side because that's where i got issues so i'm going to apply one pump more and buff that into the skin using my brush to hopefully build up some coverage and obviously i can go in with concealer which I probably will but I do want to see what this foundation can give me coverage wise without having to use a concealer it builds up the coverage really nicely and I don't think there's any concern of caking with this foundation everything just sits so beautifully I am really really loving the finish of this and the formula it did definitely get rid of all of the main redness and like problem areas there's just a little bit more that I would want to conceal just because I do have pretty intense acne on this cheek and scarring. I think it applied gorgeously with a brush. It looks very seamless and airbrushed, which is what I claimed. I believe it said flawless complexion. Okay, so it doesn't say airbrushed, but it says evens out skin tone and gives complexion a flawless look. Definitely medium to full coverage. I would just call it a medium buildable. I wouldn't say medium to full. And then it's hydrating and long lasting. So we'll definitely try out the long lasting a little bit. It is a little bit late as I said it is four o'clock but I have to go into work to do a bunch of stuff right now it's actually a Sunday so I'm going to go off camera or fast forward and do my thing I'm going to watch RuPaul's Drag Race and I'm going to go ahead and conceal and use the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer this is in Fair Porcelain L100 this is my favorite right now and then my MAC Studio Fix and NC15 so I'm gonna hop off camera for a little bit and I will be back to give you guys an update I went super super simple on the makeup because as I said I'm just going into work I went very light on the powder I did go in with my MAC Studio Fix I didn't do any baking and you can still see such a healthy glow and luminosity to the skin I think that's in part because I used like a cream brush a cream blush and a cream highlight I just with this look wanted to keep it very simple and healthy and glowy and that is what I did I think the skin talks for itself on this one with foundations it's very easy to see whether a foundation or a concealer either looks good on someone or it doesn't and right now this foundation is definitely looking very good on my skin it looks very healthy it doesn't look cakey it's giving me the coverage I need with that little bit of concealer that I added and powder I just feel very good in my skin right now even though I don't have the best skin at the moment. I think the foundation looks incredible. It does what it's supposed to. It's hydrating. It feels comfortable on the skin. It looks flawless. It looks smooth. Like everything that I would want in a foundation is here. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did for whatever reason. Maybe just because I'm so used to hearing things insanely hyped up on YouTube and Instagram and trend mood and no one really talks about pixie but this foundation if you can find it where you live and you have a skin type similar to my own i don't know how it would work with oily skin just because that's not what i have but if you have normal skin or dry skin especially dry skin and if you have a little bit of acne or like flawless skin this will look absolutely incredible on you so i will do a check-in it is now 4 30 as i said so i will check in tonight probably around like 10 ish to give us at least six hours of wear and see what we are looking like so right now it is definitely approved for me i think it is gorgeous i mean you guys can see for yourself this looks absolutely flawless and i would love to do an updated full face pixie with this foundation um pixie did send me a bunch of other new 
products, some eyeliners, some lip glosses, some liquid shadows, a new eyeshadow palette. So if you do want to see a new updated full face pixie, give this a like and I will be sure to film that for you guys. This is how we are looking as of now and I will talk to you guys in a few hours. It is now 10.13, so 10.15. It's been on for about six hours, which I think is a pretty good wear test. You can tell that my skin still looks great. It almost looks like it did when I first applied it like six hours ago. I'm not oily. I have dry skin, which is why I like the hydrating aspect of this. My under eyes look pretty gross and like creasy, but that's just because I didn't set it like I normally would. It just looks really nice. So I would seriously give this foundation as of now like a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because it's not as full coverage as I would like it to be and that it's advertised to be, but it is built buildable. As I said, I think it's medium buildable. I know some of you might think, oh, well, she's biased because she was sent the product from the company. It really doesn't matter to me if a company sends me something and I don't like it. I feel like in general, you'll be able to like physically see if something doesn't look good on my face. You can't really bullshit that. It just, it looks good on my face. You can't knock it. So that's all that I have for you guys today. If you did like this video, be sure to thumbs it up, like it, and let me know if you want to see a updated full face pixie. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.